Well, joining me now to react is uh, Free Range Fox News contributor, author of the book Mean Dads for a Better America, and a father himself, Tom Shalou. Welcome to the program. Yeah. Tom, so Free Range Parenting, what do you think? Oh, first of all, that kid was coming home from karate class. He probably could have chopped his way <laughs> to safety, right? Yes. She's got him in karate class. She's teaching him how to defend himself. He has to find his way home. I mean, people now, even adults, have trouble finding their way home because they go, go by GPS all the right. time, right? So this kid was just doing what most of us did when we were teenagers, and they ought to take those public officials. Anybody who does this, uh, anytime free-range parenting is in the news, it's because some parent got arrested for this kind of thing. Yeah. And the officials should be shamed for it. And, and yeah. you know, I think we should name them and shame them. Uh, and I think a lot of this happened during COVID as well. Yeah. I, you know, we were free-range during COVID. Right. We, we remember when everything was shut down? Yeah. We let the kids play with each other. We had a Because you great want them to live. Yes. So we rented a summer camp. All the summer camps were closed during COVID. Yeah. A bunch of families got together. We rented a summer camp. All our kids went there. They sneezed in each other's faces. They got dirty. They didn't wash their hands, just like you do at camp. Right. And uh, did anybody get sick? No, they didn't. I think the best advice we got as parents was, look, at the end of the day, if your kids got a couple scrapes, and, some, and they're dirty, you know, they need a bath, that means you had a good day yeah. because they were out being independent. They were making choices. They were creating things. It feels today like everything is so structured for kids. You don't even give them the scope to grow up, Tom. Isn't that what they're doing here, giving kids the scope to grow up? Yeah, that's the mean dads. People look at my book and they say, oh, what do you, you, <laughs> you want to be a, 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 you know, a mean parent? And, you know, when you read the book, you figure out that it's about freedom. My dad was a scary guy and a disciplinarian, but he allowed us a certain amount of freedom. So we were away from him most of the day. And then when we went home, we had to toe the line because he had the rules at home and, you know, you didn't want right. to get dad mad. But so it's kind of a joke, the idea of mean dads, because you want to be a disciplinarian, but you want to allow freedom. And I bet you that the, that family, that's a mean dad's family. They let their kids walk home. Right. They let the kids figure it out. And I bet she says if some kid bullies her son in the playground, she says, fight back. Give him a little karate mm. chop. You know, he's, in, he's in karate. Apparently he's got the capacity to do that. That's such a good point. You know, I, I think the free range parenting idea is you got to have boundaries. You, you create some clear boundaries, but you leave a lot of space in between. It feels like you brought this up earlier. The pandemic sort of shrunk the world's boundaries. Yep. You, know, you can't go to the park. You can't. They, they close the basketball hoop. You can't shoot hoops. Um, you, you create these boundaries so small and kids kind of go crazy when they can't live a little bit. You know, they, they need to take some risk. Risk is part of being human, isn't it? We pulled the tape down at the parks, you know, when they put yeah. the police tape. We pulled it down. We let the kids play on the swings. Some parents got arrested doing that. We never did. Luckily, the, the cops never showed up when we did it. But, you know, we flouted just convention and rules, basically. Right. And uh, it turned out okay for us. But, you know, and where we are, we spend summers in Minnesota often. Up where we are, pretty rural area, I don't think there's a police officer in that entire area who would show up to something like that and say, stop letting your kids play because they have common sense and they want kids to grow up and be healthy members of community too. If you have kids who can't make decisions and take care of themselves, they're probably going to be the people who are going to be in trouble with law enforcement later because they haven't learned how to take responsibility. Yeah, Lenore Skenazy is great. I've been following her for years. She has a website about free range kids yeah. and she comes up with these little ideas like the cards. She, t you know, you can get these cards and parents will give them to their kids and says, no, I'm not crazy. I let my kid walk home. And you know, it might, it might not help if you got a crazy law enforcement officer going to arrest you, but at least it's getting the word out there. Yeah. yeah. Cities like New York always want to get government IDs into your kids' hands. I like this a lot better. Here's my ID. Yeah. Leave me alone. <laughs> Let me be a kid. We got to leave it there. Tom Shalhoub.